When you're when you're there, um, this time you were just mm -hmm. there really to mm -hmm. visit. Yeah. But you you last year you mm -hmm. went on a. Uh, so yeah, so yeah. we were working there uh, last year, uh, and uh, what we were seeing is uh, we operated on several individuals that have been injured in the war. Um, some were kids, some were adults. Uh, most of them were war wounds uh, that they had, um, and we're trying to help them, you know, deal with with those. Uh, there are, you know, still new refugees that that do come across uh, the border. The organizations that are there are doing an outstanding job. They do not have enough resources mm -hmm. uh, right now. Um, they need money, is, is frankly what they need. Well, before uh, before we even got into yeah. the debate about the 10,000, mm -hmm. which has been obviously a dominant mm -hmm. debate in the past few weeks, there was actually a debate about whether or not the number should be even higher, um, whether the United States, instead of saying bringing in 10,000, should be bringing in 75,000 or 100,000. And so it sounds like you don't think that's you, you don't think that's the, the right approach. Let's listen, listen to yeah. you know. The United States welcomes refugees. The governor and I welcome refugees. We need to deal with the security issue. And ISIS has clearly said, and they have demonstrated that they are willing to use you know, the refugee access as a way to get, uh, to get to the United States and to Europe. The issue is this, is we need, we need to help people where they are mm -hmm. uh, on that. The refugee, you know, accepting 10,000 refugees or even a hundred thousand refugees is not going to change the situation mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's be very realistic about how we're going to deal with this problem over the next several years. So, as a state level policymaker, are you mm -hmm. reaching out to Senator Roberts, Senator Moran on this issue? Are you are you working with their offices at all? Uh, I think that, I think they've made. You know, I think there's consensus amongst uh, you know all of the federal policymakers that. DHS needs to make sure that they do a good job on screening, and that's what the you know the bill that passed the House mm -hmm. uh, said that they need to certify and make sure that the clear that the certification is appropriate. Um, and we agree with that that policy, and, and we think that should happen.